y'all, Renee here from 9B Florida in the Panhandle. And oh my gosh, the sun is shining. It might be shining a little too much. Um, just long sleeves today and some long sleeve pants is great. There is a gentle breeze in the air. My loquats are still blossoming, so oh my goodness, they smell amazing. This is one of my loquat trees, and I actually have two different varieties. I can't remember their names, but they bloom at slightly different times, which is so nice for the odd um, freeze that can come along sometimes, because if it gets one tree, it usually doesn't get the other one, which is super nice. But you can see this is probably a 20 foot tree here. It is quite large. Um, and it produces very nice fruit, very delicious. Um, too bad they don't really sell these in the stores because they're so perishable. But if you've never had a loquat before, they taste a lot like um, apricots and peaches. You do have to peel off the outer skin and they do have a hard big nut in the middle. When they come to fruit, I'll have to show you but they are juicy and sweet and delightful. All right, so today, uh, you know how I went to Lowe's yesterday and I saw a lot of tea roses for sale there? Well, I went to uh, Walmart to do my grocery shopping. You know, you can't resist just looking to see what they have. And they had some shrub and climbing roses. So I wound up getting two. Um, I know I say I have terrible luck with climbing roses, but I'm gonna give this a chance because it's an iceberg. And I've seen so many people on YouTube just love the iceberg roses. So this one is a climber and it is white, my preferred color. And then the other one I picked up is a shrub rose and it's called Cathedral Bells. So today, I think I'm going to be planting these. So, uh, I'm gonna get ready to do that. Come along with me. All right, so you know how a couple of days ago I transplanted four roses over here to this bed on the side of my uh, yard? Well, today, I feel like this iceberg rose has been waiting all of its life to be planted right over here in this area. And it should get a lot of sun and hopefully maybe grow onto my fence, especially if I try to ex exfoliate it, but we'll see. Um, and then I do have another location. Uh, I've done very well with some drift roses that I have. I have peach and coral drift roses. Please don't look at the grass growing in between it. And then I have one tea rose. It's a Perfuma series, but it's a beautiful pink. And it does well. It blooms a couple of times a year. But you can see here that the drift roses are still going. And if I fertilize them, I'm sure they would do a lot more. Uh, this happens to be one of my holding stations for some babies that I'll probably be planting in the ground. Maybe in the spring, I'm thinking. I'm going to bring them indoor and out. I think when it gets really cold which isn't very often here. Uh, but I had transplanted uh, one of these fire chiefs that I had and it just died. And I figured if they do okay, then maybe um, I'll put that, um, the shrub, um, the cathedrals over here is what I'm thinking to take that spot up. Just gotta make sure it gets enough water. Um, just going to take a moment and really admire some of my azaleas. Love the fall color on this. Look at this. Isn't that gorgeous? Just so pretty. Oh my. And then over here, I have some other ones that I had planted in a previous video. And you can see how beautiful those are looking right now too. How lovely. I even have a couple of white ones in them. Look at that. Gotta take a moment, if I can get the light right, <laughs> and just love on that. Gotta take off the tag, don't I?
Yep, sometimes I forget to do that. All right, so let's get to digging. On the way to the shed, I have to just stop and admire the plants I got from Liz the other day. There they go, one, two, three. Just waiting to be planted. But that'll be on a future day. You know, <clears throat> we just went to go see the boy and the heron at the movie theater a couple of days ago. Oh my gosh, as I open up my doors with Totoro there and I see the last Hiro Miyazaki uh, film probably, I thought he had retired, but he came out of retirement, I guess, for this one. The stories just live in that man. He is so amazing. We all cried at the end. Oh my gosh. What a treasure he is. I hope he does more films, but it definitely seemed like his swan song. If you've seen that movie, what are your thoughts and ideas? But definitely deserves the Studio Ghibli name behind it. Really, really love that. All right, so my cow manure and compost, one, one part. And now we're gonna do my pine bark mulch. Yeah one part and now to get the peat moth and this one is heavy it is If any of you ladies out there um, garden and have husbands that require you to put some sort of edging up, because let's face it, if you don't do that, there is a good chance that when the weed trimmer comes out, you can say goodbye to your plants. <laughs> I love my husband so much. He doesn't mean to. He just looks at it and goes, I don't know what that is. I think that's a weed. And he's trying to help me. Um, I know you're looking at probably a lot of the wood at the back of my shed. Uh, that's all for fence repair. So uh, this is our all-purpose shed for that. All right. I got some edging. Uh, and I don't know if all of you to have a whole wheelbarrow and you'll just fill up a couple of buckets. And then you'll bring the buckets where you're going to plant so you can amend the soil. But, so that's what I'm going to do. And I'm going to bring it through the house. Uh, hopefully I won't get any dirt tracked through when I do that. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and bring it through and then get to digging. Alright, so I have the iceberg climbing rose here. And even if it doesn't climb, if it spreads out, I think that'll be really cool. Uh, so this is from Expert, and like I said, it was from Walmart, and there is some wire. I don't know if you can see that really well, but there is some wire that's right up here, and um, it is a challenge to unwrap this uh, plastic around it, so I'm just going to tear it open. I have some scissors if I need them, but this plastic's pretty thin. And, oh, open at the bottom. Surprise! <laughs> you can see that right there. Completely open on the bottom. And then I may have to get my wire covered. All right, so I got those off. And let's take a look at my roots. 
trimmed up roots quite a bit on this. Again, roses are very tolerant. So even though it doesn't look like much right now, I think it's going to be great. Um, you know, there's a part of me that's like, let's go ahead and soak it in some water for a couple hours and see how it does. Uh, it's been pretty well uh, left dry in the Walmart. And best practice would be probably to go ahead and do that. Even up to um, 12 hours would be fine. Even I've heard people do it for every three days. If you change out the water, you can keep them uh, for an indeterminate amount of time. So I've heard some people even keep them for six weeks in water. But again, they change out the water every three days. And so they're sitting in fresh water. But, you know, I think I'm going to go ahead and just put, your, put them in the ground. We'll see. I don't have to dig up all of this ryegrass. Uh, I just need to get the barrier in. And we have a gate here. So I think I'm going to start right over here. And I'm not going to probably build this out into a proper bed. But I am going to get a good bit out here. Got to leave some room for the AC unit that's over here. So while it's not perfect, we got an edged border now. So danger zone is free and clear here. <laughs> um, I know that rye grass will die back. If there's any good grass, which isn't much because we have a lot of crabgrass, I will dig that up in the springtime. See what's there. Um, I know you're supposed to use like stakes to hold this down, but usually you just pack some soil on either side. It works pretty good as long as it's buried a little bit deep. And if it's not buried deep enough, you can always go back and make it deeper. So now on to the fun stuff. one done and now we're ready on for the next one all right this next one is um a fire chief and it unfortunately has not done great this year i transplanted it and it was half dead and you know we always try uh, but it was not working out in its old spot and it just finally up and died but I don't have to make a bed, so there's no edging or digging there. It's just digging a hole and putting it in there. So I'm ready to do that. 
and roots about the same uh pretty good i, I like that there's um a lot of green in the stems um don't see any new shoots the iceberg one had a couple of new little buds on it but we're going to go ahead and get her in the ground and hopefully this florida sun will do her some good oh my gosh oh my word oh i don't know what that is hey i got a couple of these in my soil i think it's a type of mushroom um, it has roots coming out from it, so I'm not worried about it being a um, uh, being an animal of any kind. But I don't know what kind of is it slime mold or something else. I'm gonna have to research that one. I'm gonna put you off to the side and see if there's any more in here. It might be an earth ball. That's my guess. Ooh, and there's a whole bunch in here. Uh, they must have been growing on that dead fire chief is what I'm thinking. And I think those may be earth balls that just haven't come up to the surface yet. They're definitely not truffles. <laughs> I wish they were truffles, but hopefully they've done their job and this spot is not cursed. Uh, great news is, is definitely don't have to amend this soil very much because there was a lot of good soil from when I plugged in the fire chief you know evergreens we got a lot of sandy pines here uh, long needle short needle but I have the hardest time now cypress I can deal with that and maybe even some junipers those are a-okay with me they do well here. And then I have one Pinus strobus. I think I showed that to you in another video. going to call that a job done for today. I hope y'all have a great day today. Hope you get to make something beautiful and bye y'all. See you in the next one.